Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for my meal prep, uh, my weekly meal prep, I am making scrambles for breakfast. Uh, me and my husband had this like two weeks ago and we really loved it, so I'm gonna do it again. And I always switch up the ingredients. You can put whatever you want to in this. Um, it's good for any stage, I guess, except for obviously liquid stage. Um, you could do this without the potatoes, probably, uh, when you're first starting out with VSG. Um, everything else is, is pretty high protein. You can also get rid of any kind of fat you want, replace it with maybe some uh, spray, cooking spray or anything like that if you want to add that. Um, but I have a ton of leftover uh, bacon fat so I'm gonna put a little bit in there to help flavor it up and yeah so let me show y'all what is going into the scrambles and then we'll get on to what I'm meal prepping for lunch okay so for this week in my scrambles I'm going to be putting some bacon grease um, I've got some minced garlic salt and pepper and then I also have half and half. I don't have heavy cream because I stopped buying it because it's too stinking expensive. So I started buying just the half and half for my cream or, or for my coffee. So I'm put that a little bit of that into my eggs. We got chorizo, uh, potatoes, jalapenos, onion, and cilantro. Oh, and I didn't pull it out yet, but I will be topping this with some shredded cheese. And you can use whatever ingredients you want and whatever cheese you want, but. I'm going to put a little bit of my bacon grease to season my pan. You don't have to use cast iron pan, but I just enjoy using them for this, especially since I'm going to be putting this in the oven. I forgot to tell you all to go ahead and set your ovens to uh, 425. And we're going to end up baking this just until the um, cheese on top melts and gets all nice and bubbly and browned a little bit on top. Okay, I'm going to move this into a bowl so I can cook my chorizo in here. And then once my chorizo is cooked, I'll mix this back in, add in my egg and some cilantro, top it with cheese. And actually, let me add some garlic in there before I do all that. And then after we do all that, I'll put some... I'll put some... Cheese on top and stick it in the oven.
So I've got the scramble in the oven. Uh, once uh, that's done, I'll prep it into the containers, our little portion container. Pop them with some more cilantro. And, and those will be done. But while that's in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get my, let me back you up here, my um, meatballs that I'm gonna eat for lunch this week. I've been doing, if you looked at my previous uh, meal preps, I've been making um, the meat and cheese roll-ups on eggs. Decided to take a break on all that for a while because I've been doing that for like two months now. So I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go ahead, I, these are things I keep. I got uh, me a bag of homestyle meatballs. Got some sliced mushrooms in it from the freezer. And I'm just gonna add some Italian seasoning and a can of um, spaghetti pasta sauce. So um, I'll brown this up for a little bit, add the mushrooms in there with them to like saute a bit, throw the sauce and oregano or Italian seasoning on top, put the lid on, let it go for like an hour and cook, and then that will be done. I'll prep that into their bless you into <laughs> into their um can into well, I can't talk right now into their containers for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead this week and prep five days worth of everything, I think. And then that way I don't have to do anything else. So let's get into this. So what I do with my crock pot, or yeah, crock pot, instant pot, whatever you're using, is I'm gonna put it on a brown saute. And it automatically does it on high for 30 minutes, but I switch it once I'm done. So I put on brown, I mean, yeah, brown saute, and let that heat up. Um, maybe throw me uh, or spray it with some spray uh, oil. I'm gonna use this um, olive oil spray. Oh, this magnificent. <laughs> Alex is watching National Geographic about dolphins. That's what he wants to watch. So now I'm going to put the lid on and I turned it off of the brown saute setting and I'm, my things are broken here but it still works. I'm putting it on uh, to trap the steam so we're going to pressure cook it and I know I said one hour. I think I'm only going to do this for 30 minutes and then turn it off. Meat and stew setting on high for 30 minutes. I put my bake in there for a little bit too long, but it's okay because it's still it's still good. It's not burnt, it's just super browned on top. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that cool down and then I'm gonna prep them into their containers. <laughs> 